Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Uh, I'm gonna be changing today the headlight capsule on my 250T scooter. Uh, it got damaged doing shipping two years ago when I got it. And finally, uh, a couple of months ago, it just completely uh, came out. Just don't wanna stay in there. Has a couple of broken, the brackets inside are all broken. Uh, I got uh, the replacement headlight capsule from Scooters, Scooter Parts for Less. Shout out to those guys. I got the headlight here. I also got from them brake pads. I'm going to be changing the brake pads in the front and the back. Same brake pads front and back. But I'm in the process of removing the whole front. Because in order to get the headlight out, the capsule, you have to remove this whole front part of the scooter out so I'm in the process of removing that like you can see this was done when I got it during shipping two years ago uh, I never done anything because they told me basically that if the damage wasn't great enough they couldn't do nothing about it for insurance purposes so there it is uh, so I'm gonna be removing this uh, I'm not gonna be able to record all every single step, but uh, I'll be taping it, so uh, taking it along a little bit by a little bit. All right. Okay. So as you can see, I already removed the front windshield and the cover for the uh, the speedometer. Um, gotta remove two screws, two bolts. There's two down here. Oh, let's see, got one nut there, and another one right there. I'm gonna remove screws. I'm gonna remove screw there, screw there. It's gonna remove screw right there. I'm gonna remove the screw that goes right there. On the side, there's another screw. Same procedure on the other side. And then on the inside, there's four screws. One there, one there holding the uh, radiator uh, cover plate off. And same in the other side. Then, before you can take it out, you have to disconnect all the lights from in there. So, uh, and you gotta make sure that you note which plugs came out of where. So when you uh, plug them back in, you won't uh, put the wrong plug in the wrong side. And when you turn the signal light, instead of turning one way, it will turn the other. It will signal the other. So pretty much keep a note of that. So I'm gonna continue on with the tear down. Okay, uh, I found out that you had to remove the face plate, the floor plate, and remove another screw that is holding this the front end in. So just make sure you remove that, otherwise you will break it. And then it will be hell to pay. So I got this side, now I gotta do the other side. I have to remove the whole face uh, floor plates, both sides. So here is. Doesn't look like much, doesn't with all the fancy stuff on it. So, this is the old capsule. And you see all the the brackets were broken. I'm gonna be changing it. And what I'm gonna do is I have two more head, two new headlight bulbs. I'm gonna replace the second headlight. I'm gonna put both headlights, brand new headlight bulbs, and one new capsule, so that I know the it'll last. So I don't have to go through all this process again to remove the headlight. Alright, so uh, here I got the two headlight bulbs. I got those from Amazon last, oops, last summer. Never had the chance to put them on. So I'm going to replace them both right now with the new headlight capsule. Okay, to remove the light bulb, you're going to pull this plastic cover off. And you're going to expose the light bulb. And there's a retaining spring in there. You kind of like push down on one corner. You're gonna have to probably lose the bolt then uh, a little bit, the screw. Okay. And then just push down one side. 
push down the other side and up it goes and then you can change the light bulb make sure that when you put in the new light bulb in not to touch the glass you don't want any grease stains in there because halogen bulbs will burn right out with the with the grass the grease stains so put down one back i already changed it and just to uh reattach it once it's there it's kind of hard doing it with uh, one hand but make sure you get it under that lip on that side get it under the lip the other side Okay. okay, it's under the lip, on both sides, and then you're gonna push down and get it right into that corner. Doing it with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. All right, so here's the new capsule. I'm gonna try to take it out of the box. Now the box is plastic. There it is, isn't she pretty? All right, I'm gonna remove this plastic before I put it in. Basically, it'll go. right in there just like that but those nuts keep coming off they pretty rusted and I didn't get any new ones so be careful with those Chinese stuff okay so here's the the front with both lights on I just gotta put it back. And next will be oil change. After all this thing it is alive, it's just the speaker. Oh. Original speakers. Shot. Okay, this in here is the little radio, stereo, slash mp3 player that I came built in with this scooter. Uh, speaker sucks, as you can just saw in that video. And this side, this is the alarm slash electronic starter. Uh, I guess that's the horn for the alarm. Um, never used it. The electronic starter can never use it because I always have the scooter under a cover and can never start it with the cover on. So, this is a ground that I just found it was off of that. I'm gonna have to put that on somewhere and tie it down. Probably when I put this screw over here, I'll put that in it to be a ground. Okay, if you don't have nobody's assistance, nobody helping you, and you're doing it by yourself, you're probably gonna have to hold that cowl up there while you put these two nuts over here to hold the, um, the front in place and slowly go around and be putting this, the nuts off before you tie them all down because 
it's a little heavy a little awkward and it's not heavy heavy but it's just not staying in its place by itself so yeah okay time for the oil change I already drained the old oil it's at 4478 miles right now and this oil is pretty pretty nasty so I hadn't changed I changed it once when I got the bike the first year and last year during the summer I didn't have time to change the oil at all so I figure it's well done well do Next, I'm gonna change the gear oil again, but this engine oil is pretty, pretty, pretty nasty. And I got the oil already. Got it yesterday. What the eh? Ten W forty motorcycle oil, and I think it will take. Uh, one a pint and a half which is like almost three three uh almost like right there on this gal on this cord don't overfill it okay oops sorry i dropped the camera all right this right here this is this right there is the strainer you can carefully remove that it's just a 17 millimeter socket as the drain plug you can take that out clean it out It'll, some oil will come out of there this is preloaded the screen is not removable but you can take the oil out of there and drain it and uh, put it back there's an o-ring around this plug so be careful not to break it Although I'm pretty sure that's very easy to find, probably in a Honda dealer or something. Okay, bike is done, brakes are changed, oil is changed, light is changed, transmission fluid is changed, everything's put back together. Now it's time to give it a good wash. Thank you guys for watching.